Welcome back to another session. In this session, I will be showing you a new mate in the advanced section called Width Mate. A Width Mate allows you to center a cylinder or a block or whatever shape you want in between two faces or two walls or two edges, for example, over here. If I click the normal view over here, you're going to see that I have a block over here with a V shape and a cylinder that's right on top of it. And then also over here, I have a block on top of the square that is centered in between those two walls. Well, right now I have them free moving. So if I take my block and take my square, I can move them around. But I can't move my block over here that I have, the base block. Now this is called Width Mate, and it is in your Files folder for exercise number 8. So make sure you open that up and follow along. Now, say I want to center this cylinder in between these two walls and this block in between these two walls. Well, one way to do this is to use multiple mates. I'm going to have to mate this cylinder onto this wall and then this cylinder again onto this wall. And then over here for the block, I will have to create a distance basically between this wall and this wall and also, you know, waste a lot of time calculating the distances so I can center that block in the middle of this uh, between those two walls. Well, what if I want to do, do uh, have it done automatically? Well, that's something really nice in SolidWorks. It's called a width mate. Go ahead and click on mate. Scroll down under the advanced mates, open that up, and then click on width over here. Now scroll up to the mate selection options. Now first you're going to have a width selection. The width selection, those are going to be the two walls that you're centering your part about. And then the tab selection is the part that you're selecting that is going to be centered. Okay? So first let's go ahead and learn how to do the cylinder. So for the cylinder, you have to select the two walls that you want to center about, which are these two surfaces. And then to tap selection, all you have to do is click on the cylinder itself. And as you can see, the cylinder moves in between these two V-block walls. So click on OK to accept that. Now, as you can see, SolidWorks goes back to your mate selection. This is your standard mate selection. You're not in your width selection anymore. As you can see, it's not highlighted anymore. So if you want to use the width, width mate for this block again, you need to go back and click on width mate again to bring about these same options that you use for the cylinder. Now, to do the same thing for the block, you have to select the two walls again for the width selection. But for the tap selection, you're not going to just select one wall, for example. Or if you think that you can select the front surface or the top surface and it would center, it will not happen. That's because you will still need to select the two walls that are going to be used to center about these two walls. SolidWorks, what, they, what SolidWorks does is takes this wall and this wall and also this wall and this wall and calculates the same amount of distance in between those two walls. And it centers your block about it. So if I put this in my front view, as you can see, I'm going to click on OK to accept this. As you can see, my, my uh, cylinder over here is right at the center and also my block is right in the center in between those two walls. So I click on OK to exit that. And that's how you use the width mate in SolidWorks.